Yo, so what's going on guys? This is Kill Luke for the win here, bringing you guys another Clash of Clans video. And today what I have for you guys is my first impressions of the update. So first of all, I'm going to look at my attacks. Notice a couple new attacks, and then I look at the Barb King and notice that he, he takes less time to regenerate, which is really nice. They make it a little bit easier to upgrade him. It's still at 20,000, but I'd go ahead and look at the Archer Queen, and it's only 22,500 Dark Legs. So before, it was actually... Uh, going to be like 45,000 Dark Elixir, so they made that a little bit easier to get, although it is still 4 million or 40,000 to get her, and uh, it's 4 million to get your lab up, and uh, I'm going to look at a couple of the new troops, or not the new troops, just what the uh, dragon looks like, and I'm not really sure what it looks like for that level with the like blue and uh, red, I mean I'm not sure what level that is, I think that's for the max one, or no, it's, I think it's for the level 2 one. I'm not really sure, don't quote me on that, but the healer also goes up to level 4 now, and she's going to get a nice little buff, which is cool, and uh, just showing off a couple of more troops, and uh, this is whenever I first got in the morning, so you can see I get like a thousand Dark Elixir every morning whenever I wake up, and just to show you guys, it's only 4 million for the level 5 one, and 3 million for the level 4 one now, before it was going to be like 6 million to get it to level 5, and it costed four million to get it to level four. Now it's only three million, so that's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice drop there on elixir that you have to get to get that. But here I'm going to go ahead and use 900 dark elixir on two of the golems, which I just got. I got about uh, 700 experience points for that, and I'm just showing you guys the barb king, which I'm about to get. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a few walls first, though. So what else is new with the update? is that as you guys know uh, it's going to show how many troops you get in the clan castle which is kind of cool it doesn't show that yet it's not really going to show up fully till the next league but uh, that's a nice little thing to have just so you can make sure that uh, you know somebody that doesn't randomly request you know isn't like never donating but it's just, you know just getting a lot of troops but uh, I always keep an eye out for that anyways as you guys know I'm kind of like a hawk with that sometimes so I apologize for that. I'm just trying to make sure that we don't have any really moochers. There, there I'm going to spend a half a million on a wall right there for my first level 8 wall. So let's go ahead and get that started. And uh, here I'm going to go ahead and get the Barb King up to level 5. That's going to take 2 days. So it's nice to get that Dark Elixir out of the way whenever I don't need it. Because, uh, you know, you get raided a lot with lightning spells and stuff like that whenever you have a bunch of Dark Elixir. So here's my first Golem attack. And uh, first thing, I'm going to draw out this guy's Barb King and take that out. So I wanted to go with the guy with pretty solid defense, but not the best. Because uh, my Giants are actually level 6 now, so they do a lot of tanking. They're so good. But uh, you'll see, at the end of the video, I had the level 6 giant, so stay tuned for that. I get a 600k rate at the end of the video, but here, let's talk about this one. Uh, I'm kind of failing. My wall breakers kind of failed to get to that wall, I guess, and to take out that wizard tower, so that is a huge waste, and then I dropped the clan castle troops by accident to top it off. Right before this anti-air defense thing gets wiped out, it destroys my healer, so I was kind of pissed about that, because I was going to have... Uh, you know, a little giant healer strategy going uh, with the golem and the giants. Because as you know, the healer does a splash effect. So she would have been able to heal like all of these guys that are actually dying right now. So that was a huge fail, man. Uh, I don't know what it is. I'm not that good with healers. I guess I'm just not used to having them. Like, I don't know. I kind of forget and screwed up. But I'm going to go ahead and drop a rage spell. And as you can see, these guys are tanking tremendously well. You know, they're able to take out a lot of the defense. And my Archer Queen is actually just staying back here. As you can see, she took out that Wizard Tower pretty much single-handedly. It doesn't do too much damage to her. So, uh, you know, she's going to break through this wall and actually get a good amount of resources for me. And ready, I'm holding out. I'm looking for a good spot to go ahead and drop these Goblins. But I don't, I don't think I really get a chance to. Or I might drop them on the collectors. I'm right here. You see me dropping a wall break. I'm trying to get my little uh, my golem that split up right there to uh, to get through that wall. Basically, in case you didn't know, the golem has 4,800 health, is it? Or uh, no, it's 4,500 health. It does 38 damage. 
and it takes up 30 it takes up 30 space so that kind of sucks it takes up a lot of space but it has a ton of health and uh yeah it's a good it's a good dark legacy troop it costs 450 dark legacy so i'm probably gonna level it up one time pretty soon here and uh get it to level two and then it's gonna do 42 damage and have uh 5,000 health so it's gonna be pretty beast at that point so they're just showing off the attack log here i have another pretty solid raid and uh, at the end of this one i'm going to show the town hall 10 what it's going to look like and uh, everything like that and what comes with it honestly i don't think too much stuff comes with it i think that supercell did a much better job with town hall 9 if you want my opinion on that uh a lot more stuff came with town hall 9 you know in this one and the next one coming or in town hall 10 the next one coming for me it's only like uh, Dark Alexa Drill, a Kanan, an Archer Tower, and that new unit, what's it called? The Inferno Tower. And that only goes up to level 2, I'm pretty sure. I took a look at George Yao's base, and it only goes to level 2. So, kind of sucky, honestly. Alright, so even though this guy uh, is in the league and everything, and uh, looks like he has his builders on a couple of units, you can see in that dark, or in that bottom right sort of corner and in that right corner there that elixir pump is being worked on even though that's the case a lot of this stuff is in his collectors I'm pretty sure so that's what I kind of realized and I was starting to go for the mines and the collectors and also I, got, I used a clan castle dragon on this base and I actually did remember the air support this time so that was good and right here you can see me going for the air defense right here with the archers trying to clutch that out before you know it completely destroys my dragon so the dragon also looks different with the update and it's kind of growing on me but I don't really like it that much I think that they should have kind of left it how it was it looks like kind of snake like now or like cartoonish and I'm not too fond of it. Leave me down in the comment section below what you think of the new dragons, what they look like and everything. And there's my computer heating up. Sorry about that. Uh, this is sort of a long commentary. Actually, this is a really long video. So bear with me. I'm going to keep going here as this clan castle dragon is shortly about to get shut down I actually I don't think I really realized while I was playing that uh, the loot was actually gonna be in the collectors and the mines as you can see I'm actually going for this storage here and I'm not really getting much out of it so luckily those goblins up there actually went for that mine and I think I'm gonna drop a wall breaker right here yeah to help get in and I'm pretty much gonna get like the rest of this guy's loot So sorry, this was actually a really long braid, but I do get like all of this gold at least. So pretty solid here. I'm gonna go ahead and end the battle, I think. Or have these guys try and go for this. Oh yeah, but then it runs out of time, I remember now. Alright, so total of about 400 k we'll call it. So we're gonna go ahead and return home back to the village here. And I'll show you guys the level 10 town hall. So, 4 million, that's how much the level 9 town hall costs. And all you get is a cannon, an archer tower, a dark elixir drill, which will make for a 3, and then a uh, inferno tower, and the big bomb, which is pretty useless in my opinion. So, I don't even know why they threw that in there. That's pretty retarded. So, here I'm going to show you guys. I have a golem in there. Looks pretty tight. And this is my recent attacks. Pretty solid. Uh, except for that one in the middle the ones that I have right now are better definitely better so this is me destroying a town hall 10 and I, there's no real reason for this like it wasn't a very economical attack at all uh, as far as resources go I didn't make what I spent as you can see there's only 468 dark elixir so that's pretty much you know I, I gained a profit of 18 dark elixir off of this raid 
and uh, and as far as uh, you know, as far as regular Alexa goes, I probably lost like thirty thousand or no, like twenty thousand something around there. So the only reason that I go after this guy is to destroy his Town Hall ten, just to show him that you didn't need to gym that. Like there was, I don't know why people like this with gym a Town Hall ten. This is just weak right here. He has level 2 wizard towers, you know, level 6 uh, cannons and archer towers, I'm pretty sure. So, I don't know why he gemmed a Town Hall 10. That's kind of silly if you ask me. Let me know how you feel, how you guys feel about this right here. About a Town Hall 10 that's really, like, this weak. Honestly, my Town Hall 9 looks better than this, and I rushed my Town Hall 9, so, yeah, definitely recommend you don't do this. As you can see, the Golems did split up there, and they do do a ton of work, and my level 5 Giants are sticking there with them, and they are able to take out a lot of this base, but unfortunately, I'm not going to reach his Town Hall 10 and destroy it, which is what I was really aiming for in this raid, and is why I dropped a Rage spell. As you can see, I'm trying to get these Archers in there and for my Archer Queen to go there, and they don't end up doing that. A couple archers actually do make it there, but uh, these clan castle troops are just going to take them out. So, kind of sucks, but, you know, I wanted to destroy this guy's brand new Town Hall 10, but I didn't get the chance to. I actually saw another Town Hall 10 similar to this one earlier today, and I didn't attack him because his base was a little bit too strong. So, ready, I'm just going to take a little bit more loot. Not really sure why I did this. I think I actually had a clan castle dragon in there, but I didn't really have a chance to drop it. He had his air defense. He had all four air defenses and had them spread out pretty well, to be 100% honest. So, I think I've talked about pretty much almost everything in the update. The attack log, uh, you know, the clan castle troops. Uh, yeah, you know, I was wrong about saying that there would be another army camp or another barracks. I just, I don't really know why they didn't do that. Uh, maybe they'll do that in the future, but anyways, we're going to skip ahead to the next raid here. This is an astonishing 600,000 approximately worth of loot, and it's mainly all going to be in this guy's collectors and mines, but I'm completely ignoring that. As I can tell, as you can tell, this guy's like level uh, 3, level 4 mortar, and I think that might even be like a level 2 mortar, so... Yeah, basically we're going to go in and destroy this guy's base. Right there I was dropping an archer to see if I could pick one of those collectors off and it'd be out of range. And uh, also just to see how much Alexa would actually be in there. But it didn't manage to make it. And as you can see, uh, I dropped the golem and some level 6 giants. I think I had like 9 of them. And right here in this raid I actually only had about 150, 160, and between 150 and 160 troops. So this is not actually a full army. Surprisingly, I do manage to pretty much topple this guy's base. And not quite three star, but I do a number on him. Let me put it that way. So these mortars, as you can see, they're a joke. I go right in there and destroy them. Take out all the splash damage buildings in a matter of like a minute almost, like a minute and a half. So that's pretty solid. And as you can see, my guys up in there in the top left are getting those collectors. And that's pretty much going to sum it up for the loot I think that there might have been actually a little bit of elixir in his storages let's wait and see here so yeah there actually was a little bit of elect elixir and gold in his storages and I'm gonna go ahead and get almost all of the loot but I'm pretty sure it's still enough to be like 600k whenever the raid ends. I was actually hoping these goblins would get in there and help me like 3 star this guy's base, but it's not manageable. Oh yeah, anyways, I do go ahead and take out this storage right here. And as you can see, my golem just split up recently, and you can see it down there with that giant going to work. So, 
that's pretty much it for this video guys hopefully you guys enjoy this video because it's super long and it's going to take like days to render so if you did enjoy it please do leave a comment just saying your thoughts on the video your thoughts on the update and you know you can say anything throw out potato in the comment section if you have nothing really to say and thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll be talking to you guys probably tomorrow with another video thank you for watching subscribe if you're new and i'm out peace